For those who are new to our channel, I'm Anne. People also call me Maye. And my name is Franz. My friends call me Dax. And, and this my is my name is Chelsea. Chelsea. Chelsea Maya. Hi. Um, Abigail and Beatrice. They're actually sleeping. They're actually <laughs> sleeping while we make this video. <laughs> we would like to thank you guys for continuing watching our videos. And for those who haven't subscribed, please do subscribe now. Click the notification bell and um, like this video. Thank you! Um, we have read some of their comments and for the previous video, um, shout out to our friends, um, Uncle James. Hi. Hi! Hi! And to our Tatay in uh, Auckland, New Zealand. Hi, Tatay Cyrus! Hi, Lolo! <laughs> James and Cyrus are our housemates from Singapore 2012 mm -hmm. until around 2017. For today's episode, Chelsea is turning 3 months old this December 8th. So we wanted her to grow in a good Christian faith. And we are going to walk you through one of the sacraments of initiation, which is called baptism. baptism. We're going to have our guest speaker. Uh, he's a good friend of ours, Father Galbert, Galbert Albino, um, Albert with a G. <laughs> um, he's based in St. Aidan's Parish at Putty Hill. Church, um, St. Aidan's Catholic Church. So we're here to book uh, the appointment for Chelsea's baptism and we'll just show you the church and the inside the church in the office. So say hi! Father Galbert uh, Albino's office. So actually, we're here because um, we're going to submit the requirements for Chelsea's baptism. So I have few questions. Okay, Father, um, frequently asked by some of our friends and relatives, and also me. So, Padre, I have a question. <laughs> what is baptism? Baptism actually is. It purifies, uh, it purifies our own original sin, cleansing away the original sin that we have inherited from our first parents. And secondly, through baptism also we become members of, of, the, of the Catholic Church, of, of a Christian community. So we no longer belong to someone else, but we belong now to Christ. Copy that. <laughs> So, another question, Padre, is what, why do you need baptism? So, why do you need baptism? Yes, why do you need baptism? Uh, baptism actually is part of um, initiation of becoming a member of Christian community. Like what I said earlier, uh, earlier through baptism, we become members of Christ's community. And at the same time, baptism actually is also the gateway uh, it is the gateway to receive this, uh, the other sacraments okay next question is why now ano magpabunyag ang bata ng gamay ka that's actually a very good question according to saint paul um, baptism um, in the old in the new testament there was only an indication during the time of jesus christ that you have to be baptized you know? If you wanted to be reborn, this is what we call, you know, being reborn in the life, with the life, in the life of Christ. Because we have to be baptized. In the early history of the, of the church, especially during the time of St. Paul, um, St. Paul the Apostles, and even also in the Acts of the Apostles, there was only an indication that um, infant baptism 
when uh, the apostles actually went to um, preach and evangelize the gospel, the people actually were being preached and they converted into our Catholic, uh, into Christian um, faith, they were actually being baptized. So now there was an indication that all the household actually were, were all baptized. So an indication was that all the members of the household that also includes uh, children or small children, even though there was no explicit uh, information na uh, api ng mga bata, but the understanding of all the house, uh, all household members, it implicitly telling us na even na a young age, na mga infant, uh, they were also being baptized. Pero di ba pa din na ay duha or na, nabasa lang online na ay infant baptism o adult baptism? What's the difference? Ang infant, ang infant baptism ng group is ang bata is being helped by their parents. So ang parents, if they are Catholic and they would like to have their child baptized, so that's their stage. So, but in the kadapura sa bata, he's going, the child is going to renew his baptism when he is only at the right uh, age, or like we call it you know, um, concept, you know, age of concept. So he is going to, the child actually is, uh, is going to renew his baptism. Um, with adults, actually, more or most of them, so adult baptism is this are actually converts you know, into our Catholic faith. So they were used to be different denominations before. But if they were also baptized from different denominations, na the same kihapon um, formula mo ginagamit when they were baptized. So it was also considered valid. And that depends also on as I said, denominations because there are some denominations using different um, formula in baptized. So like uh, what I said, um, adult baptism only being, uh, is, is being done for those who are converted into a Catholic faith. So bonus question, Padre. So when we are actually out, out and about, <laughs> Um, some Filipinas na among ma-encounter, they will tell us na, Uy, the baby is too young, the baby is like weeks old or months, mo, early months pa. Mm. Nga no daw, nagigawas ang bata without having pa ang bagunyag. Well, not this is all the truth. Tama na, totoo ang bagunyag. Pero eh, much better ng good niya, mas, 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 mas nilang good good niya as early as na a few days pa lang, kung itumbun na ang okay ng parents, mas better din niya, magunyagan sa iyo ang bata. There is no um, mga totoo, even, especially in the Catholic teaching, na uh, hindi na pagkawas ang bata kung wala tayo kung ano mo dito niya. Grace, actually the grace of God, can penetrate to everyone uh, because we cannot underestimate the love and goodness of God that He has given to us. Sa ato nga pagtuuso o na kuligiwas ang bata, makakagpagawin ang Catholic Church. So, daghan ting salamat, Padre. Some of our questions already answered. So, actually guys, these two twins were baptized by Father Galbert before two years ago. He was still a deacon. Yeah, he was still a deacon that time. requirements from the hospital when when Mayi gave birth to Chelsea and then process it to the center link so that we can have a birth certificate from the government the birth certificate you'll need to submit a photocopy to the office um, this is part of the requirements and you fill out the form but for the kind parents um, there is a limit of only up to four God parents that will appear in the baptismal certificate. The rest will be printed at the back of the certificate. <laughs> For the preparation, um, each church has their own standards. So I, you can, you'll need to ask based on your area, your region. Um, but here in New South Wales, specifically in our area, is conducted every first Wednesday of the month. It's 7.30 to 9 p.m. For the parents, it's mandatory to attend the seminar. You need, you need to attend the preparation 
um, it's a requirement, one of the requirements before you get the baptism. It's a good refresher to know what baptism is, mm -hmm. um, all the seven sacraments, the different types of sins, um, different fruits of the Holy Spirit, and all those are discussed during the seminar session. The coordinator will discuss what will happen during the baptism, um, what, you need. what you need, like the candle, the white garments, and for the godparents, it's a like optional, and, but it's highly recommended because you will help the parents um, nurture, the kid. nurture the kid to grow in good Catholic faith. Yes. Okay, that's it guys. Um, again, thanks for watching our videos and hope you like it and subscribe and click the notification bell. See you! See you.